I used to always look up in the sky and see the planes going by and I'm like, I want to travel the world. So when I came up here, I started high school, I graduated, my teacher paid for my first flight, that's an introduction flight, and then after that it was just a dream. We're here at Learn to Fly CT. Yep. Uh, Phil, the owner, was kind enough to speak with us or was willing to talk with us about his profession being a flight instructor. So how long have you been in aviation? How did you get started in aviation? I got started in aviation basically just by growing up near an airport. Uh, I live up in Simsbury, uh, right next to the Simsbury Airport. And the um, I just got the bug early when I was a child. I then uh, joined the Navy uh, back in 2008 and I was an aviation structural mechanic uh, from 2008 to 2012. I then got off active duty in 2012 and joined the reserves and in the meantime I ran into an old high school friend who told me about aviation and piloting and the demand for it currently and uh, basically went home, talked to my wife and uh, changed schools, changed degrees and started to learn to fly at the Simsbury Airport within a week um, and it's just all kind of snowballed from there. Where, what were you going to school for before that you Initially, said you should... yeah, when I first got off of active duty, I was going to school for uh, engineering. Okay. And then I changed everything. I, uh, I initially, I went to um, Tungsys Community College, got my uh, general, general degree or associate's degree, and then transferred to Embry-Riddle and got an aeronautics degree uh, for a bachelor's degree. And then uh, since then, I've become a flight instructor, multi-engine instructor, uh, flight Instructor Instrument, or CFII, and then just recently I became a AMP mechanic as well. So airframe and power plant mechanic. Okay, so you guys at Learn to Fly CT, I see online offer a multitude of different services, whether you wanna earn your pilot's license, whether it's a commercial license, I believe as well. Um, I think something I saw in there for tooling, or I forget what it is, like there's different, um, so what are the services or what are the, as a school, what do you teach people? Cause I saw dr uh, drones also yep. on there. Yeah, so great question. We, we offer everything. We offer everything from a uh, sport pilot uh, certificate, which is a, basically the lowest grade of pilot certificate that you can get here in the United States. Uh, we offer private pilot training, which is kind of your top ep epsilon uh, certificate that most people start off with. We can do instrument training, commercial single engine uh, certificate. We should be starting a multi-engine program here shortly. And then we can also, down at our Goodspeed location, we can conduct seaplane training and tailwheel training as well. Do, do you find that most people get into aviation, whether obviously they need to earn their pilot's license if they want to get a job as a commercial um, pilot or just, because someone said, what's the difference between, I guess, a commercial pilot and airline pilot? Because they're not the same thing necessarily. I Obviously, airline pilot, you work for an airline, but right. commercial pilot is different. It's, right. it's about a, the same thing. That's a great question. So for your private pilot certificate, uh, when you first get your private pilot certificate, you can fly yourself, you can fly your friends, you can go anywhere in the continental United States, and you can also go international if you wanted to go to Canada or to Mexico or to the Caribbean. Uh, you can do that. It's just extra paperwork that you have to file with the government and everything. Um, but the number one thing you cannot do as a private pilot is you cannot make money with your piloting services. So you can't take your, I always bring up an example of uh, taking your aunt or your uncle's package to your grandmother's house uh, and your aunt and uncle are going to reimburse you for the, for the fuel, or for, the, for your services flying the plane there. Um, that you cannot do. Um, once you earn your commercial pilot certificate, there are some things that you can do to actually get compensated for your time. Um, they're very limited in scope, but um, it's better than nothing, uh, for, basically, because from your private pilot instrument training, commercial training, all, th all that training period, you're basically paying out uh, to get all the training, get all the flight time. Once you get your commercial certificate, now there's a couple items that you can do where you can actually start earning some money. Um, the big thing a lot of people do is once they get the commercial pilot certificate, they then become their, uh, they be then become a flight instructor or a CFI, a certificated flight instructor. Um, at that point, now instead of paying to go flying, you're actually getting paid to go fly because you can work at a flight school or you can do your own thing individually um, and continue uh, building up your flight hours while you're actually getting compensated for your time. How long does I'm assuming it's different depending on what license you're getting or what you're working towards. How long does it typically take someone to get the most basic of a, um, I guess, a Private pilot? Flight. Yeah, like if you want to just fly recreationally or you just want to learn to fly for leisure or just 
for fun, not necessarily needing to want to get, get a specific job, like just starting out for someone, how long does it normally take? I, I know you mentioned there's hours and the costs. Yep. Yeah. So great question. Again, uh, when it comes to the time commitment and the cost and everything, it really boils down to two different types of, I guess you could say student pilots. You have your recreational pilot, uh, which is just looking to get your private pilot. They're looking to get their private pilot certificate so that they can go fly to Martha's Vineyard or fly up to Buffalo, New York or somewhere to see family or friends and just experience that freedom of aviation, of, of general aviation. Or what are people's opportunities with just a license of some sort, not necessarily having to be commercial? A career opportunity for somebody with like a private pilot certificate, extremely, extremely limited. Uh, you basically can't do anything. Um, we have a, a phrase that comes from the regulations um, uh, for aviation from uh, part what is it? Um, uh, 14 CFR. Um, it's the pro rata share. So if you and I go flying, um, we can, let's say, for example, the aircraft costs $150 an hour to rent. And that includes the fuel, the oil, and the applicable taxes for the aircraft as well. So $150 an hour. So if you and I go flying for one hour, if you come back to me and say, I want to reimburse you for your time, I want to pay you $90. Well, that would technically be illegal because we have to split the cost 50-50 of the aircraft. So it would be $75, $75 for the aircraft okay. for that flight between the two of us. Um, now, once you get your commercial pilot certificate, there's some additional things that you can do. You can do some banner tows. So if you've ever seen an aircraft towing a banner behind it, Okay, um, so like for marketing, correct, like marketing, yep, marketing per, like purposes. Geico or like over like sporting events and stuff exactly, like that. Yep. Okay, yes. Uh, they do it. They have a tendency to do it down along the, the coastal line as well with all, everybody out on the beach and everything. People um, will do marriage proposals. Marriage. One of the things that you can do as a commercial pilot is you can fly banner toes around all day long. So this is our simulator here. It's uh, made by a company called Fly This Sim. It is an FAA approved, uh, what's called a BATD, a basic advanced training device. We can simulate everything from a Cessna 172 with steam gauges or old gauges, all the way up to an SR, a Cirrus SR22 um, with a full glass cockpit. We can simulate on this simulator. We can simulate over 200 different types of aircraft, everything from single engine to multi engine, um, and it's all FAA, FAA approved that can be used towards a pilot certificate. One thing you can really do if, if piloting is something that interests you is purchase X Plane 11 or Microsoft Flight Simulator. I would personally recommend X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 11 because that's what this software actually uses. Um, and it was built for the sole purpose of flight training. Um, so you can buy that software program for about $60 online. You go on Amazon, you can buy a simple joystick. You don't have to go all crazy fancy with the, the yoke and throttle quadrant and rudder pedals and everything if you don't want to. You can keep it simple and keep it uh, relatively inexpensive. So $60 for the software program, roughly $40 or $50 for a joystick with a good computer. And you can sit there and X-Plane 11 actually has some flight lessons built into it. We've seen students come to us with a couple thousand hours of flight, uh, flight time on a flight simulator. And the first time they jump in the plane, it's like they've been flying it for like 25 hours. It's, a, it's absolutely amazing. And it will drastically reduce the cost of your training because you don't have to learn the basics of maintaining altitude or doing a, a climbing turn or a descending turn or anything. You have all the, basically the basics down because you were learning on a simulator. Now the simulator at your house, you're not gonna be able to actually log that flight time. But if your local flight school or local airport has a simulator like ours or an FAA approved simulator, then that flight time can be used towards your flight training in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You were able to learn more about aviation, whether you've been in the industry for multiple years or you're just finding out about aviation. You were able to learn how to earn your pilot certificate. If you guys like the content, feel free to subscribe and throw out suggestions for other jobs and professions that you'd like me to check out.